Hi there! In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps to activate your TeamViewer account and create your own link. The first thing you're going to need is an email asking you to verify your account. Once your account is successfully activated, you'll need to log in with your DGS username and password. Once you press sign in, you'll receive this two-factor authentication pop-up. You can choose to activate this now or close it. For this video, I'm just going to close it. The next step once you are inside TeamViewer is to click on Edit Profile. This is where you're going to go to change your password. Under the general settings, click on Change Password. Here I'm going to type my current password as well as my new password and a repeat of my new password. Then I'm going to press Save. Once I press save, I am redirected to the TeamViewer login page. Here I'm going to type my email address and my new password, and then press sign in. The next step is to navigate to design and deploy. Within this area, you're going to want to click on the icon labeled add quick support. Within this area, we're going to do a little bit of customization. Under name, you're going to put your first name, you're also going to delete the area that says My Computers and put your name as well as the word computers. So I'm going to put Taylor's Computer. Then you're going to check these three boxes and press Save. Then you'll be redirected to this page where you can see our new link. We're going to do a little bit more customization, delete the standardized link, and type our first name. Then press Save. Once you press save and OK, you'll be redirected under the design and deploy page to an area where you can view your link. This is the link that you are going to use to help connect to other people's computers for troubleshooting issues. For more information and to see how to download the TeamViewer client, please check out our YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.